struck out the side. Strike three called, and what a game. He got it. 41st save of the year for Craig Kimbrell, a major league record. And he did it before the 1st of September. Amazing. Fastball right down the middle. And the Braves have won game one of the series. At number 14, we have Veen Gregg of the Cleveland Naps. In his 1911 rookie season, he posted a 1.8 ERA and 23 wins. He threw five shutouts and 22 complete games, all the while leading the majors in ERA and hits per nine innings. He also posted a most impressive 8.8 .8 war as a pitcher, which was second in the major leagues. His 189 ERA plus is also the second best for any ERA qualified rookie in history. And at number 13, we have Jack Feaster of the 1906 National League champion, Chicago Cubs. His 151 ERA is the third lowest by any ERA qualified rookie pitcher in history. He was also near the top in the National League in whip, hits per nine innings, strikeouts per nine innings, and ERA plus. Number 12. 26-year-old Dellen Batances. This guy was meant to be a relief pitcher. Batances strikes out Freeze. Strikeout machine. Strike three. He strikes out the side again. Another Batances-like inning as he strikes out the side. The 2-2. He got him. 100 miles an hour. Overpowering an MVP and a triple crown winner. At number 11, we have George McQuillan of the Philadelphia Phillies. In his 1908 rookie season, he had a 153 ERA, a whip below one, and allowed fewer than seven hits per nine innings. As a rookie, he was near the top in the National League in war for pitchers, ERA, shutouts, and more. One year later, Harry Krause of the Crosstown Philadelphia Athletics posted the 10th greatest rookie pitching season ever. His 139 ERA in 1909 not only led the league, but is still the lowest for any ERA qualified rookie pitcher in history. Krause was also near the top in the American League in whip, hits per nine innings, shutouts, ERA plus, and more. Number nine. And on the mound is this young man by the name of Mark Fedrich, and I guess there's a lot about him that we uh, maybe don't understand. Bounce to first baseman, Thompson, one out. Fedrich, known as a character, they call him the Big Bird. He's talking to him. He's talking, he's telling the ball where he wants it to go. I think that doesn't bother you as a hitter, I'm telling you, it's got to. And right down on a fine play by Jason Thompson. He got him. Ground ball should be the ball game. And the Tigers act like Fidrich has just won the seventh game of the World Series. At number eight, we have Cub star Ed Ruhlbach. In 1905, Ruhlbach had a war of 9.1, an ERA of 142, and a FIP of 2.46, all near the top in the National League. His 209 ERA plus is the best for any ERA qualified rookie in baseball history. Ruhlbach would be instrumental in the success of the Cubs in the early 20th century. And at number seven, we have Cleveland Indian star Herb Score. In his 1955 Rookie of the Year season, Score led the majors in strikeouts and was also near the top in all of baseball in war for pitchers, ERA, and hits per nine innings. Sadly, Score's promising young career was troubled after being struck in the face by a line drive in 1957. Though this ended his season, he would recover to pitch parts of five more years in the majors, but never met the same success of his 1955 and 1956 seasons. He would go on to become a broadcaster for his former team for more than 30 years. Number six. From the Boston Red Sox, pitcher Jonathan Papelbon. He already has a strikeout and a pop-up here in the ninth. Here's the pitch. Wilkerson swings and misses. The ball game is over. Papelbon retires the side in order to pick up his first major league save. And a 97 mile an hour fastball. There's the defector, the breaking ball. That's 14 strikeouts, a new career high. He still can't get it on, Tom. <laughs> He's still struggling. <laughs> Is Fernandez amped up to pitch to Puig and Ramirez? I think so. My goodness. And swinging on the ball. Two strikes on you, he goes to his fork ball, which is his bread and butter pitch to try and strike you out. Strike three call. And down goes.
Mars Hill. That's as good as it gets. I mean, he throws a one hitter, but that is as good as it gets. When he first got to the Dodger training camp this spring, the first words he learned hey, dude. 50 strikeouts. That is the top four game performance in the history of the Dodgers. right-hander Dwight Gooden gets his first strikeout here what a fabulous year he has had and the curveball and strike three Dwight Gooden he becomes the youngest man ever to play in the all-star game 19 two years out of high school and good strikes out the side the record Dwight Gooden has set a new major league record for strikeouts by a rookie pitcher, 19 years of age. The second best rookie pitching season of all time belongs to Russ Ford of the 1910 American League New York Highlanders, the team that would become the New York Yankees just three years later. In 1910, Ford set a number of rookie records that still stand today, including highest war by a rookie pitcher, lowest whip by an ERA qualified rookie pitcher, and most shutouts by a rookie as well, earning his number two spot on our list. Before we get to number one, let's take a look at a few great talents who just missed the cut. Toronto found bright hope in reliever Mark Icorn. see who it's going to be. It's going to be Grover Cleveland Alexander. All people will come on. That's the ball game. <laughs> Andrew Bailey made it look too easy. He six up, did. six down. The Texas Rangers are American League champions. Dodgers are number one. He's the greatest, and I think everybody here has Fernando Fever.